what athletes these guys are. Take a look at this ride from Dennis's perspective. Whoa, baby. Yeah, we turned her over. She's over. That's what the people want. That's what they got. I got a tore up truck. The crew is working on getting the grave digger righted. It's up! Whoa, I may be in grave trouble, but I'm not undead yet. Save your epitaph and dig this. The power of the netherworld will pull me through. It'll be a dark day for whoever dares challenge Grave Digger! Folks, Dennis is back up in the truck. He's actually trying to start the Grave Digger. Can he get it going? Yes, the digger starts! The digger starts and the crowd goes nuts! But the question is, can he get the truck race ready for the finals? If not, UFO will come back and face the winner of our next matchup, Taurus and Equalizer. Taurus, driven by Eldon DePew, and the Equalizer with David Morris aboard. Morris has done extremely well so far tonight. Can he do it again against Taurus? So it's down to this Taurus? A face-off against someone I thought was my friend. Well, I hope you cooperate and allow me to fulfill my destiny. But now I'll have to bring an end to your outlaw ways. Nothing spurs me on more than defeating you, Equalizer. The next frontier for me is the finals. I've got a bullet with your name on it, and I'm gonna shoot to kill. <laughs> Let's do it, cowboy. We are staged. It's race time. Taurus and Equalizer. Equalizer and Taurus side by side. They come off. Now it's straightaway time, and Taurus gets the win. David Morris and the Equalizer had lots of handling problems. 7.03 for Taurus, 7.33 for Equalizer. Equalizer was doing well here. He had no problems whatsoever. This seemed to be what threw him off. He went sideways, bounced around a little bit, the rear end bottomed out, and that threw him sideways. Taurus took advantage of it. He moves on to the finals. Does Eldon DePew have this track figured out or what? That right-hand lane, he seems to have owned it all night long. Taurus. What a great job of driving, and he knows he's in the finals. But who's he going to face? It could be UFO, and that would be an easy win. Or Dennis Anderson and the Grave Digger. They're frantically working on that truck back in the pits, trying to get it ready. Everybody's helping them out. Can the Grave Digger answer the call? We'll find out. Dennis Anderson, in typical Grave Digger style, was going to the extremes once again, pushing the envelope. This one cost him. It was only the semis against UFO, but he ended up rolling over at the end of the run. He came down off the ramp. He was in great shape. A typical Dennis Anderson run. He was really putting on a show for the fans here. But then he cut right in front of UFO, got squirrely here at the end. All four wheels came down, shot in front of UFO, just missed the collision there. But at the end of it, he turned over. And the tow truck had to come to lift him up. You know what the interesting and amazing part is? Dennis Anderson's coming back. But is he running at 100%, Jim? Because he's going to need it to defeat Taurus. Taurus and Eldon DePew stages right now as Dennis Anderson comes up to the starting line. Taurus got here by defeating Tropical Thunder, Carolina Crusher, and the Equalizer. The Digger, well, he didn't have it very easy either. He took out UFO, then Invader, and UFO one more time. But that was the one that cost him the rollover. Now, Dennis Anderson is up in the Grave Digger, and he faces the toughest competition of the night. Let's watch as Dennis stages. Thumbs up, it's showtime. This is our final, Taurus and Grave Digger. Grave Digger and Taurus, even Digger pulls it out. At the finish line, Digger finds the extra horsepower and pulls out the win. Dennis Anderson and the Grave Digger, what an incredible win. Watch this, over the cars, they are even. And now, right here, Dennis Anderson finds the horsepower it takes to get the win. I've risen from the deepest, darkest depths of despair to prevail. Fears to you, Taurus. Rest in pieces. <laughs> An unbelievable win for the 
grave digger. The crowd's on his feet. And Monster Wars' Jim Davidson is working his way up to Dennis. Dennis, this is absolutely incredible, man. I cannot believe it. You've created miracles here in West Lebanon. you got air coming out the tire, smoke coming out the back at the end of the semis. You're laying on your roof. You shouldn't even have been here. Hey, Jim, it's been a crazy night for me. But you know what, man? I don't care. I'm here at the finals. I won the finals, man, and that's one thing that I like to do. I love pleasing the crowd, but turning the truck over, getting it back on its wheels, and coming back and kicking butt and winning the race, you can't ask for any better, man. That was it. It's been a great night for us, great night for the fans. It's cool, man. I love it. Hollywood could not have come up with a more exciting ending for today's competition. I promised at the beginning of the show that this was the Super Bowl of motorsports, but I take it back. The Super Bowl is much too boring to compare with Monster Wars. Let's take a look at the scoring after the first competition of the season. Gravedigger gained 48 out of a possible 50 points to take the early lead. If he had qualified first rather than second, he'd have the full 50 points. Taurus's 40 points places him in second, followed by the equalizer. UFO and the Crusher are fourth and fifth, respectively, with Predator getting off to a slow start in sixth place. And there you have the trucks rounding out the top ten, with Tropical Thunder bringing up the rear. We'll keep track of the scores each week, and at season's end, we'll crown the Monster Wars champion. That's all for today. For Jim Davidson and Joe Lowe, I'm Luann Lee. See you next week for more pulse-pounding action on Monster Wars.